Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking Companions, with just me this time. I know it's big sad, uh, Stitch's throat is feeling really icky this morning, so they will not be joining me. Uh, but don't worry, uh, another upload is gonna come out in like a couple hours or so, and that should be the end of Cooking Companions. I don't know how long this game is, but for today, uh, since I don't want them to miss out on anything, we're only gonna do three days. Which, it's, it's gonna be short. It's gonna be a short little video. A little fun size. But we're gonna do three... Three days. Is what we're gonna do. <coughs> so, by the end of this, we should go up to slot number seven. <coughs> so, we woke up from another night terror last time. Uh, Mariah left, and we, we actually got meat? Question mark? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> You woke up to see Greg looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. Are you okay, Greg? You okay? Take a look out the window. Did you notice anything? Yeah, it's still fucking raining. The floodwaters had reached a little bit, but everyone was still bonding to the cabin. <coughs> <coughs> the trail used to be completely visible. Now it's gone. Well, shit, bro. I told you we should have slept in the Walmart. Good morning, big guy. <clears throat> Indoor person. Will Mariah make it back? I hope, man. I really do. This might sound a little crazy, but every night around 2 p.m., I can hear her outside. <coughs> Ow. She's making awful grown, gr growling noises, like she's trying to get water out of her lungs. Have you heard her, Greg? You know, maybe we should not. Maybe we should not make Greg cry. Sometimes the rain gets faint. I think I can hear her whispering. Well, shit, bro. Maybe we shouldn't have sent her out into the fucking cold to die. I haven't heard anything like that. Well, of course you haven't. You're a fucking bitch. When she whispering, it sounds... It's like she's trying to tell you something. <coughs> right? Oh, hell nah! Oh, hell to the no! Sometimes hearing her cry through the radio. But it's just the broadcast. Right? Oh. Oh, fuck no. I'm all by myself and no one's at the house other than me. Oh god to the no. I think we should have another piece of the meat for breakfast. One step closer to Mariah. What she will have wanted. Oh, oh no. Oh no 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 no. No. Why? The only interesting things happen when the other person's not here. Bring us another slab. Please. No, I'm not looking at you in the eyes. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Please help me. Uh, antelope? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Three nights. How the hell am I supposed to make it through three days like this? I think he's right. Please bring us more meat. You grab some meat from the secret hiding place. You cut it into the square and add the boiling cauldron of water. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. It will taste bland without any seasoning, but you serve it right away. Mm -hmm. What's taking so long? Boil it faster! It, it's, it looks almost done. Just patience. Ah, oh, hell no. Hell to the no. You finally finished. You served the meat in a bowls. Maybe I should cut it down. Maybe not three days. Maybe I should make it two. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like the faces they were making. Okay, drinks the broth first and swallows it, the chunks whole. Like a duck does when eating bread. Oh. Antelope crescent. Jesus Christ, the stutter. The ripples uh, in both 
uh, using the spoon and <coughs> isn't eating. <coughs> Ow. Um, I'm sorry about earlier, everyone. I don't know what took over me. M Mariah? Anthony begins to weep. <laughs> Anthony begins to weep. Sorry. You look over at Catherine. <coughs> you didn't notice her even start to eat. It's just an empty bowl now. Well, damn, bro. <coughs> Someone got to chomping. Oh, Catherine starts, uh, is staring at you, right at you. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, very bad cough this morning. Luckily, I brought some water with me this time. Ah! How much more is left? You explain how most of it has gone bad. <laughs> this is the last of it. Yeah. How could you be so careless again? Why are you blaming me? Do you remember Catherine's knife? You need to think fast. <coughs> what the hell are we supposed to do now? You wait around again? This storm isn't ending. You clear your throat. <clears> throat> Like that? Antelope? Yes. I think tomorrow you should look for Mariah. Er, for the plans outside. I. I think you should go tomorrow, little guy. No one else identifies edible plants like you. I. I. Please, Antelope. You could swim back in a few hours. Greg is right, Antelope. Maybe you'll find Mariah out there. I think Mariah's fine by herself. Ooh. <coughs> I hate to tell you to the to, I hate to tell this to you, little guy, but you're getting evicted. He still hasn't accepted what has happened yet. She doesn't need anyone's help. <coughs> but you but we need to help her, Antelope. That's right, Antelope. Please Help us. Help her. Let me sleep on it. Okay? <laughs> no problem, little guy. <laughs> well, shit. Another nightmare? Hold on, let me just... <coughs> <coughs> I don't have my backup guy. I have to do all... I have to do three characters' voices. Everyone shuffles off into their beds. Reading books and knitting to pass the time. You go to bed right where you sleep. Mariah. She's whispering. Oh, hell no. Nah. Something is approaching. Onion. Onion? Hey. Get out of here. Onion, Don't be a crybaby. It's just me. Onion. Forgot what voice I give him. I'm not going to be very sweet today. Boy. I'm worried about antelope. Boy, boy. He's going to crave to uh, c c cave to peer pressure. Can you stop him from leaving the cabin? You don't answer, Onion. Please. Don't you trust me? You shake your head. Absolutely not. <coughs> uh-huh. I got a fun fag, fag for you. Did you know that leaving out an unpeeled onion in the room absorbs bacteria? It will help prevent cold and warn off vest vi viruses. Onion. That was a lie. A fun fact story of the myth. People actually believe that in the 15th century. Onion. Jesus. How embarrassing. <laughs> Who would believe that? That is a good question, me. That is a good question. There's even a doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people to believe it. <laughs> Anyways, you know what smells like raw onions in the living room? You. It, yeah, actually. It's been a while since your last bathed, right? Can't remember. 
could uh, don't be a carpet. Could you smell you before I even came into the room? Yikes. Am I the only one tripping balls? Does anyone else see these little shits? <coughs> so can he stop Antelope from leaving? I know he has been cabin fever, but this is ridiculous. This will be impossible to stop the grown man from leaving. Please. We don't need another stocking in the halls. Tape the windows. Cry through the radio. You have the sudden urge to scream. Uh, yeah, so do I. Why do you think I've been using the mouse holes to get around? Yeah. Scared to death that I'll run into her. <coughs> her? Her? Don't make the towel to cabbage about you. She can be mean to as potato if you get on her bad side. Onion, onion. Just kidding. She's great. Anyways. <coughs> Ow. When time comes, tell Anthony you care about him and don't want him to leave. Even if it's for me, okay? You can trust me. Now, excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. They're made of butter slices, so I'll get to skate around in the frying pan tomorrow. Onion. Later! Shit. Oh, shit, indeed. Your mind fills and <coughs> managed to forget about everything that happened. You fall asleep again. Still rips. Day number 10. Homeboys, we're here. Give it up for day 15. No. Hold on, Anita. Should I save? No, I'm not gonna save. Um, a fox is collecting payments in your living room. Oh, so the the fox is now the IRS. <laughs> you just fight him. You put two dogs in the bottom stack and and then add six chickens to the top. The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the stack, and the dogs will tear the fox in half. Filled with such loathing from the fox, you give him the only thing you have for food. All those chickens. Chickens. <coughs> As the snow piles on so outside, you begin to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, candles, leather. One day you wake up and had nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. Just the insatiable hunger. A few days later... You go mad and leave the cabin completely ravenous. Weird word, might I say. A near tree looks crave meat. <coughs> your iron teeth cut through the bark, tears your gums by splinters. Your mouth fills quickly with blood. Days later, a deer gallops by. The first creature in the woods you've seen, uh, seen your corpse. You wake up in a cold sweat. Oh, no, no, no flash. Okay, good. Hold on, I gotta save this. <laughs> They're very eager about me saving. Something smells terrible in the living room. Someone's puking in the corner. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Antelope, fucking stop puking up the whole house. G good morning. Good morning, little guy. Well, Antelope, your decision? Bad ideas. Barely slept last night. Her whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. She kept telling me to come outside. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Hard choice. Because they I know they're going to make me decide. We don't want to rush you. But no one of... But one of us puked last night. So that was the spell, right? Antelope. <coughs> My patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make a decision. Why so quickly? <laughs> because I'm not waiting again any longer. You could see the guilt of Kareen's knife under her dress. Best to watch out for that knife. Alright. You've disappeared and the tension seems to rise. You have one hour to kill. What do you want to do? Alright. <laughs> I'm going to go chat with Antelope. Because that seems like a good decision. In the basement. By the basement. Because I don't think that door's opening. 
Antelope looks pale. Thanks for coming over. Antelope seems comfort by your presence. Cool. <laughs> nice. Greg told me he heard Mariah. She's sure Catherine is being honest with me. <coughs> Have you checked out the basement door closely? Every so often, I can see pe her peeking through, looking out through the holes. I really don't want to drown outside. Sorry, <coughs> I went out of voice there for a second. Uh, <coughs> but at least I won't have have her torment anymore. You know what's in the basement, don't you? No. Wow. You aren't kidding anyone. You're just lying to yourself. Please, get away from me. Wow. Looks like Angela will remember that. Ah, uh, shit. Well, looks like we gotta eat him. Or, sorry, throw him out into the cold. <coughs> nope, you okay, little guy? Antelope looks pale as, like he's gonna pass out. Antelope, have you made your decision? Yes. I'll help you all out. I promise. Thank you, Antelope. Tears. <coughs> big tears roll down Greg's cheek. I'll, I'll miss you, big guy. Miss you too, little guy. Thank you, Antelope. I know this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. Ah, well, shit. Another homeboy leaves the house. What is this, big brother? <laughs> Catherine? Yes? I... Looks like you expectingly. Did you want to say anything, Antelope? You say nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop him. Sorry, Onion. Um, I... Goodbye, Antelope. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. Antelope has left the cabin. Well, fuck. It's just us now. Just the three of us. We could make it if we try. Sorry. <laughs> See you soon, little guy. <laughs> I guess all we could do now is wait. Good night. I will fuck you too, then. Everything goes to the bedroom to sleep. I... I didn't want to tell him the truth. He gets a little choked up. I didn't want to tell him. Missing him already. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg. I really am. <coughs> Greg curls up on the couch for the night, turns his back to you. Ah, well, shit. Shut your eyes quickly and fall asleep. You're scraping from the floor. Pardon me, but who was scratching? Ah! Hi, Brad. Found you! Hi, hi, hi. You explain how this isn't a good time right now. This is no laughing matter. I'm worried about Greg. He is tall as a tree, but as dumb as a brick. What's the root of that? <laughs> Another cornbread classic. I hate you so much. You're being very unpopular -pol right now. That's a tree reference. Get it? No, I don't. I hate puns. Why would I get it? Anyways, you need to protect Gray from the tall, red-headed woman. Cabbage calls an emergency chocolate meeting and told me to give you him this mission. Watch out for the knife. Protect Greg at all cost. Understood? Yes. I'm not letting that fucker die. I'm sorry, ma'am. The other two, fine by me. Greg is the best motherfucker in this house. He is not dying on my watch. Is this the yeast you could do, right? You tell Brad that his pun doesn't make sense. <laughs> On a roll today. See you tomorrow. See you around. Jeez. Red hops away, squeezing himself through the small house. So, pop! You fall asleep to about what Brad told you. You didn't get a flash last night. You have a strange dream. <coughs> it's lying on the table in front of you. Take off the glasses first, quickly check, and sit down next to the workbench. Work saw wrapped cuts around the newspaper. Some of it slobs instantly. You begin to dye the cut with the towel before wrapping it. What the hell are we wrapping? Much better. You're something approaching you from the clutch of your fist. Get ready to s strike whatever's coming for you. Wake up in a cold sweat. Why are we not getting any more flashes? Day 11. Whoop, whoop. One more day to go. <laughs> I hate my life.
Hold on. Gotta save. You wake up in a completely different place. Did you sleepwalk or... You found some meat. Everyone's still asleep. Be a nice surprise after yesterday's even. Did you decide to cook it for breakfast for everyone? Cutting a slice fairly thin. You... <laughs> The smell is unique. Catherine runs into the kitchen. Do I smell meat? <laughs> what is that smell? Give it to me. No. <laughs> you don't urge. Catherine grabs a cutlet, burning her hand before bringing it to her mouth. Ach! She's hungry, devours it, barely chewing. She grabs another cutlet from the plate and eats it. You thought she was concerned... With rotations. Rick looks up from the couch and heads to the kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. Already? Greg looks conflicted. But he scrambles to the hugger. They always do. Greg eats his food with a few bites carefully. Grabbing a second cutlet. <coughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Sorry. A tear streams down his face, but he doesn't make a sound. You join the meal quickly, consuming the meat on the table. I can't think s I can think straight again. We'll be out of here in no time. There's no need to rotate anything now. Etherine is surrounding, more determined than before it's sounding. I want to lay down on the couch, try to keep the food down. Greg crawls onto the couch and turns his back on you. I'm so sorry, man. I really am. Catherine leans into whisper. I'm glad Mariah and Antelope are gone. They were stopping us from bonding properly. How did you get so good at it? I tell Catherine. After one bite, it just makes me feel whole again. Even with the nightmares, it's worth it. It took a few nights, but I fought back. Now, all I can think about. I read the book on nar n n I, narcopsy. The text is ancient, but the diagrams are beautifully drawn. Very descriptive. How many years did it take you to perfect to perfect the craft? You tell her. Yeah, right. I used to tell Mariah that you weren't funny. But that's not true. Sorry about that. Jeez, thanks, Catherine. You've grown on me. Three pauses deep in thought. You know, Greg can't swim, right? He'll be the next to leave, but he doesn't stand a chance outside. They always seem to come back, right? In one way or another. I'm not sending him outside. <coughs> Why wait for him to come back? Three hands you a bowl of liquid. I think you know what needs to be done. I'm not gonna kill him. This is a strong ath ath bleh. don't have uh, or acidative. Don't ask me how I found it. I'm going to just slip this into Greg's mutt tonight. This is for the best. He won't feel pain until he wakes up. All you have to do is stand back and let me work on him. I. I'm not going to kill him. Will you do this for me? <sighs> I'm going to avoid the question. Why don't you do it? I need to psych myself up for what's next. This is my first time, and I want it to be perfect. Uh, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. No. T the right decision. Fine. Save that for a rainy day. I'll have everything set up by the couch. You don't have to watch. The restraints should be easy to apply myself. Greg's strength is fierce. Greg, hi! Hey, Catherine. What are you doing? A divey! Oh my- No! 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 Stop it! Stop, stop! <laughs> Craig has turned silent. No. You leave her alone. 
going into the bedroom. She crawls into her bed. Antelope slept in. You fall asleep while listening to me. Okay. So much has happened. So much. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I can't wake up yet. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Anyways, uh, well, that was, that was, uh, go back to the loading screen. Let's see, back to the game. All right, everyone, that was, uh, that was, uh, Cooking Companions, episode three, three, three nights, uh, three frights. <laughs> I'm gonna name that the video. Anyways, don't worry, the, the, fi the finale should be coming out in a couple hours. Don't worry about that. But anyways, I hope y'all had a good time watching. I did definitely not have a good time recording this, but who cares? Anyways, uh, that's all for now. Hope y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>